Hey everyone, it's at Roth Collectors here. We're opening up three hanger boxes of 2024 Topps Heritage Baseball. You can buy these for, I think they're about $13 to $15, depending on where you, you find them, um, at your local Target or Meijer uh, or Walmart, of course. So here is what you get out of these. You're looking for the 1975 uh, Baseball Sensations Gold Foil Board. And then the 1975 Zoo Who, Zoo's Who uh, stick ons uh, blue. Those are like a parallel, I believe. And where does it say the amount of cards? Right there. 35 cards. Oops, 35 cards. And then the 3D cards. So let's see if these are any good. Haven't opened up many of these at all. Traditionally, this is one of the worst ways to buy heritage. Um, in my experience in the past, but I have read people uh, posting things that they pulled out of these hangers that are pretty good. So, you know, it's once again one of those things where sometimes you hit big, sometimes you don't. Um, but it's not a bad price, and you do get 35 cards out of here, so if you're building a set, uh, might might not be a bad option. Let's see if we can get a hit out of here or something interesting, any short prints or a 3D card. That would be sweet. 3D cards are definitely cool looking and, you know, fetch pretty good uh, price uh, re or for resale. Uh, so, obviously, this is the 1975 design. It's pretty cool. I do enjoy the look of these cards. Um, uh, you know, Heritage always goes back to uh, a design, um, and they've been following sequentially throughout the years. So, they're up to now tops up to 1975. Like last year, 74, and then the next year is going to be 76, of course. So that's how it works out. And just in case you're brand new to Heritage. All right, let's see what we have here. Uh, rookie Gavin Williams. These are part of the set, not inserts. So number 203. So the set is big. It's a 500-card base uh, set. Well, 100, the first 100 cards are short prints. And uh, so cards 1 to 101. 1 to 100, uh, I almost said 101, are your short print cards, whereas in the past it used to be the last numbered. Uh, but this year they have 500 cards in the set. So let's see what we can find here, go a little faster. Obviously this will be a pretty short video, not a lot to go through in these. Uh, but hopefully everybody's doing well. And if you're opening Heritage, let me know what you found in your boxes. There's an Andy Rodriguez and a Christian Yelich. So let's see, is this one a high number or a short print? No, no, and no. So if that's what you get in some of these um, hangers, definitely I would stay away. Um, and that's why I don't really buy these too often and I just wanted to get some just to show on the channel one different variety of retail okay so there is a short print Nathan Evaldi this was not flipped over uh, a lot of them are flipped over but you got to check the backs because there could also be a variation that Tops did not put in the regular uh, section either so just be aware of that when you're checking them out it's always in heritage it's always worth looking at the backs of them and just making sure you didn't miss anything a lot of tricky stuff in heritage for sure all right so you're looking for nicknames color swaps um you're looking for obviously the uh, throwbacks and then the coveted red uh autographs those are the big draw uh out of Heritage. The autographs and Heritage are definitely sought after. Um, now, there's a lot of no-name guys in, in it, so they're not all that great, but oh, let's see, I got to put those in a different section. Um, I got to put my base in a different pile so I can look at it uh, out of this box here, too. But yeah, so baseball is going full force. A lot of fun to see. People are obviously watching things like the NFL draft coming up and uh, basketball playoffs and hockey playoffs and baseball for the true baseball fan of course you're watching that all the time and if you're watching this video you are probably a more of a diehard baseball fan um, they do have uh, select basketball coming out this week um, I believe it's this week and I will try to be opening that on the channel in case you're interested in seeing what you can find in select basketball chasing Wemby well, let's see what we have here. Anything? No, Mickey Bonnick. Is that a short print? Yes, short print. So, once again, these are pretty pathetic. 
<laughs> proving right now I can get some monster out of the last box. But in general, uh, run away from these. I much would I'd much rather spend my money on a blaster box or on a uh, monster box for sure. Um, I even think maybe the individual packs are better than these hangers, but I could be wrong. Let's see what's in this last one here. Maybe it's something big that is lurking in this last box. All right, get into the last one here. Per usual, my lovely dog wants to come in. Uh, she can't decide. She's very indecisive. She likes to come in. She likes to go out. She likes to... Um, basically, if she could open up doors, that would be the most ideal thing. Because, Or or we have a gate. We have a, a younger dog, too. and um, <clears throat> We have a gate set up so the younger dog can't just have free range of the house. Uh, the older dog can, but she can't open up gates. She can't open up doors. You know, it's a little restricting when you don't have... Um, access to a door or a gate. All right, let's see here what we have in this last one. Hopefully something. I mean, out of three boxes, you'd think there'd be at least something chrome or anything. But, I mean, unless I missed something, and if I did, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, but we will see. I mean, looking in the back, because that's usually where all the good stuff is. Oh, it's one of the zoo cards. So, St. Louis Cardinals. That's it. guy. these things stink. Um, definitely the absolute worst buy out there for <laughs> Heritage Retail. I guess it's, it's so funny because um, the Series 1, the hangers, as they say, are bangers. And in Heritage, they are like total trash. As um, Step in the Box likes to say... Uh, these are hefty trash bags. Um, hefty should sponsor Topps Heritage Baseball Hanger Boxes. So you get a nice big stack of base out of three boxes. That was $15, $30, $35, and I got really a bunch of base cards. And then I got three inserts, and I got one Cardinal card, one Mickey Moniac short print, and one Nathan Avaldi short print. Yippee. All right. <laughs> My enthusiasm is overwhelming. And I'm telling you, don't buy these. Um, now, you can prove me wrong in the comments below. Tell me all the awesome hits you pulled out of these, and I'll be shocked. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, you're doing well. Take care. Have fun collecting. We will see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, before I sign off, check out upnorthcollectors.com. Um, the sports cards and more, and you will find Bowman pre-sale there. Luke has a bunch of Bowman hobby jumbo and blasters that he's selling. Order them now before price goes up or before you can't get them. Um, definitely uh, going to be fun to open that up. So on the channel, we'll be opening up jumbo, we'll be opening up hobby, and we'll be opening up blasters um, and maybe some of the other retail formats that we can find. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Take care and have fun collecting.